Hi guys, welcome to WordPress plugin series. My name is Axel Mulat and this week we will be set up the contact form 7 to your WordPress site. Contact form is the easiest way to reach you from your site visitors or customers whether they have a question from your blog post or they have a product interviews. As you remember in my previous course, WordPress tutorial for beginners, we add a contact form already on this contact page. And this contact form is totally working, but this implementation is incomplete. Why? Because there have no CAPTCHA in, on this video, will be add a CAPTCHA. Since this form is no CAPTCHA, I receiving a uh, lots of spam messages in my inbox. And also will be customize this contact form. I will be remove this subject field because subject field is not necessary on this website. If you want to stay remain the subject field, that's fine. It's up to you. If you didn't add the contact form yet on your site, I will be guide you on step by step. So let's get started. Okay, go to your admin side and go to plugins section, add new and type contact form 7 and install this plugin contact form 7 on this thumbnail mountain, click install and after installation, this section will appear from the contact form 7 plugin and click contact forms and after that I already edit this from the previous course just copy this short code guys to to the page go to page copy this add a new page and type contact page and I already add it here I add a short code on this page and save Okay, we'll be back to, we'll be edit this and customize, edit. Okay, we'll be start in the form tab. As I said, I will be remove the subject field. I will be replace a drop down field. Okay, remove this and I will be edit this question about, this is the new field. And I add a drop down. You can add a different fields in your contact form if you want. After adding the form, don't forget to add the syntax also in the tab mail. This is the form syntax. This, your mail, your name, your subject. You can add a date, text area, checkbox, and so on. In my case, I add a drop down menu only. I put my cursor here and drop down required field and this is the select in the drop down check this insert a blank item insert tag and this is the new field select this is the syntax on this field i will be copy this copy and we'll be add this in the mail tab since i remove the subject field i will be remove this remove will be replace that and we'll be remove this subject and replace the like that and we'll be replace this question about the subject has replaced a question about and the subject now is the plain text okay we'll be check to to your email your email from customer email this and reply to the customer email or visitors email in the subject and we'll be customize this, we'll be remove this 
this is the syntax guys your name your email email and the message body is the last will be add additional syntax here from contact form 7 I will be copied out from my site axelmulat.com copy this syntax and paste here this syntax from contact form 7 supports page I'll add a extra field in the email IP address this is the syntax customers IP address and the date server time we will be add additional function guys on this form the auto respond email this mail to check this this function is will be sent automatically message to your visitors if the visitors fill up the form in the contact page if the visitors click submit i'll receive an email from my inbox and also the visitors receive an email too a email notification this is the your email this is customer email from from me subject will be replace this and will be replaces the message body i have a text here you can add in your own text replace that and this is the subject and replace the subject plain text thank you for contacting icraftwp.com this is the subject body message hi thanks thanks for contacting us will be response later as possible blah 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 and this is the auto respond email i think this is complete form tab in mail tab hit save and now guys will be add the recapture go to integration and as you see we need to configure this click this open in a new tab sign in to your google account or gmail account okay will be add a new recapture this is from my site and will be add separate on my site icraft wp register a new site label your site and choose the type of recapture click this recapture and the domain your domain like that and accept the terms register and now this is the key of the recapture okay we'll do this in step by step configure keys click okay side key and the secret key secret key and save and don't forget to paste this under the close head tag copy and already save will be added the team guys you can do this on your file manager or you can use filezilla we will do that directly here go to appearance editor appearance click new tab okay let's find the header.php this is the team guys on your team directory okay we'll be find the close head tag just control f just type here this is the close head tag paste the script before close head tag like that and update the file and back to contact form 7 configuration back to contact forms and we'll be add a recaptcha syntax 
to the form click edit again and scroll down and we'll be at the recaptcha here click this recaptcha normal light that's fine guys insert tag and this is the syntax of recaptcha just add a break tag here and another br tag okay save and let's see now if you didn't add this yet on your page guys contact page just add this short code on your page in my case i add already okay let's reload this contact page okay let's see now and as you see guys the recapture added to the contact form and the subject field replaced to drop down field goodbye to spam email now because they have a recapture on the form and we'll be test this immediately Axel Mulat including the auto respond okay let's test this check this okay it's working now and I click this okay now I add a captcha so goodbye to this spam email starting today so it worked now and as you see it's working and the IP address are included to the visitors IP address and also the auto respond I received as a sender I received a thank you for contacting icroftwp.com and as you see it's working now guys if you have a question on this video kindly fill in the comment box section and I'll be response as soon as possible like and share this video to other people you know especially in social media facebook twitter and google plus as well and don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel because there are lots of great videos to come see you next episode of wordpress plugin series bye for now